Good morning, Hidden Heights Farm family. Welcome back to another episode. So we're going to come out here and I'm going to give you guys another update on Teacup, the little baby micro goat. I got to apologize right now. Rachel and I made a whole video over the smallest goat ever born on our farm and it really was and the audio was jacked up for 95% of that whole video. So I apologize for that, but for those of you that went ahead and clicked on it and watched it all the way through, we appreciate it so much. And I got another surprise for you guys that I got to share with you. Um, if you guys remember in the live, if you were in our live the other night, uh, last week on Thursday night, I told you guys that the transmission went out in our Dodge uh, three-quarter ton diesel truck. That's the one that we used to pull the trailers. The tractor and all the uh, stock trailers and stuff with well Rachel took the kids to school in it and the transmission went out uh, It was actually just a shift solenoid went out. It was something that I could Get on YouTube and kind of look at and I was able to get the part I overnighted it got the part and the next day my dad came over and uh, we Took the transmission pan off. I didn't film any of that, but we drained all the fluid took the bad part out replaced it Made a new gasket with some RTV silicone. And uh, so far, so good. The truck is back up and running. But I don't think I'm going to pull the Kubota M59 with that truck anymore. And so I got to looking online. I said, man, I'm, I think I need to get a different truck. You guys know we got the Beast, which is a one-ton Chevy. It's a 1990 with just a gasoline 350 engine in it. Which, don't get me wrong, it's got like 95,000 miles. It is a pretty good truck. It just don't have the power to pull the tractors around very well. Um, so it does have the dump bed, so it's been, you know, a real workhorse for us. But I am in the middle of trying to replace it with a more powerful truck. And I went shopping. I got online, and I went shopping. It's starting to sprinkle on me. We got another storm moving in, but I want to show you guys something that I found online and I just brought it home just a minute ago. It is another vehicle. Rachel's not too happy about this, but she understands that we got to have a dedicated work truck. Of course, we have the Tacoma 2. That is not a work truck. It can be a work truck if we're just doing minor, small things, but uh, that is more of like an off-road truck, a hunting truck, fishing truck, stuff like that. I have never bought a new vehicle. Um, when Rachel and I first got married back in 2004, I think the next year, 2005, we bought our first vehicle, which was a uh, 2005 Chevy Colorado. That's the only new vehicle we've ever purchased. I never actually bought one for myself. I always find bargains is what I say. And hopefully, fingers crossed, this one works out fun. What we got here is a 2005 Dodge one ton. It's got the Cummins diesel in it as well. But I'm hoping what I can do is swap the bed that is on the dump truck and put it on this one and then sell this bed and try to get some of the money back. So I know a lot of people is gonna say, I can't believe you buy so many vehicles and this and that. Well, I don't plan on keeping all these trucks. Like I just said, I wanna do the bed swap Get the dump bed hooked up on here and then I will sell that Chevy and uh, then we'll be back down to only three trucks again. But anyways guys, um, I found this online. It was just a, it was a local trade in. Uh, it's got 230 some thousand miles on it, which isn't bad for a Cummins diesel. Hopefully they took care of it. That is a big risk. Anytime you're buying a new, newer to you vehicle, a used vehicle you never know but this isn't an everyday driver you might say for me this is going to be strictly a work truck and yes i might drive it to uh work here and there or whatever to get feed and all that type of stuff rachel might have to use it to drop off the kids you never know but that is why i like these coming diesels because they are good proven engines and when things break i like to try to work on things the only thing i know that is wrong with this thing is the uh, out shaft, the out, the output shaft seal on the transfer case is leaking just a little bit, but I think I can get that fixed. I've already ordered a part for it, and then everything else is fine. I drove it home from Tulsa. I've already driven it, you know, about oh, 60, 70 miles, no problems yet. So uh, fingers crossed. I always stress out when shopping for a used vehicle because I'm telling you guys, you can look at Carfaxes, 
you can look on, on that stuff all day long, but you really never know the history on vehicles that you're taking a chance of buying. Okay, enough rambling. Hopefully you guys can hear me because this wind's kicking up. It's fixing the storm, so I'm going to try to get this video rolling. I want to show you teacup. Let me show you before I go to the gate. They're resting right here by their mom. Little teacups laying right there, right there, next to her mommy. Ebony, you're such a good mama, you know that? Alright, let's get in there and go see her. And there is the other one, I can't remember the name. And uh, for those of you wondering what teacup's big sister is named, Rachel decided to name her... I don't remember. Okay, I just totally went blank. I'm gonna have to wait till Rachel gets home and uh, she's gonna have to remind me. She should be pulling in here in a little bit. Hopefully, I can uh, she can catch me before I end this video and I'll give you guys the name. So, okay, the one, I just remembered the name of another goat. So you guys know the one with the little uh, black eye patch. That, that goat is a billy goat, it's a boy goat. And his name is Jack. So Rachel's like, oh, Jack the Sparrow, the pirate, blah, blah, blah. Got the patch on his eye like a pirate. So she's like, what was the ship name on Pirates of the Caribbean? And uh, I think it was the Black Pearl. So we decided to name Jack's sister Pearl. She's, she's pretty much all white too, so that's Shadow's babies. There's old Jack. Who you know Jack? And there's Pearl. You guys like your names? Huh? You guys like your names? What are y'all hanging out with the chicken for? Hey Pearl, hey Jack, hey Shadow. What do you know, girl? These are some good looking goats, guys. So I just realized I started this video and I had chewing gum in my mouth and I tried to never put chewing gum in my mouth when I do a video it always uh i don't ever realize what i'm doing but i start like doing chewing weird and stuff so i just spit that out <clears throat> all right there's a dirty man himself mr uh hey sticky beard sticky beard chip hey bubba uh he's busy chasing women all right what is the name of this goat? I have went totally blank. Cammy, I forgot your baby's name. What's your baby's name? She don't want to do no interview either. Oh, he's, he's going to eat some dinner, I see. Milk does the body good. He wasn't done, Cammy. He wasn't done, Cammy. Your babies are getting big. Their little horns are growing. Oh, I see another baby. Look at this little baby peeking up right there. That's Princess's baby. How cute is that? Look at his little ears. He's like, oh, I hope that man don't see me over there. Princess. The baby's trying to hide. Look at that. The baby's trying to hide. Hey. Peekaboo. Oh, scared it. And here is the other one laying behind the uh, salt lake block. So one cool thing about baby goats is they can be about a week old and they start trying to nibble on feed and grass. There's teacup. 
Look how small teacup is compared to the rest of them, guys. Just so crazy how small she is. She's a good hider because she's so little. So one good, one weird thing is these goats are still not sure about these cats. You can see Grace is out there. She follows us out here just about every evening when we come out to feed. And the goats just sit there and steer at her. Force me. Come here, Grace. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, kitty, 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 kitty. Look at it. They just like, what are these cats? All of them. They just sit there and steer at the cat. They're like, what is it? Is that a threat? Mojo's not out here. What is it? Hey, Ebony, come here, girl. I'll scratch your head if you come here. Let's see if your babies will come. Come here. Come here. They're so far, but so close. And of course, look who's not coming. Oh, Dika, the one I want to come. Ebony's a good mom. Right, girl? All right, here she comes. And uh, I don't remember if I told you guys this or not since the audio got messed up in the last video. But she has the waddles underneath her neck, just like her mom, Ebony. They serve no purpose that I know of. They're just decorations, I guess you can say. So uh, you guys seen the last wood chipper video. I got that thing going and uh, you know, some people call me Cherokee MacGyver. Um, I like to figure things out. I like to fix things, use what I got to get things going again. You know, I don't really like jerry rigging stuff, you might say, but uh, I like using the right parts and stuff. But sometimes when you live on the farm, you got to use what you got. And uh, now we got the wood chipper going. I got a pile of chips here, and I know a lot of you that like to compost and stuff is going to be saying, Why are you just throwing it on the ground? Why are you not putting it over in your compost pile? Well, I strategically placed the wood chipper right here because when we bought this land oh been about 17 years ago it was just all woods like you see back here it was just all woods there was a tree every two to three feet almost and over time as we could afford to pay uh hire a bulldozer operator to come in and uh, kind of clear of it some of it out to make some pasture land and stuff like that in our yard around our house we've done so but what that does is it leaves a whole bunch of holes in your yard. It's kind of hard to see on camera with the naked eye, but I promise you if you're running out here playing football or something, you'll notice it. The kids are always griping saying, Dad, you need to fill in that hole. Well, I had a pretty big hole right here, and that's why I put that wood chipper right there, I'm trying to shoot all those chips right here. And what I'll do is I'll get a little bit of dirt and I'll kind of mix in with it, and it'll start composting. And what it'll do is turn into dirt. It's just, you know, carbon organic material it will turn in the dirt and kind of fill in that hole and uh the weird thing about composting is you can take mulch and goat poo and all the straw and hay from the bedding you can pile it up 20 foot tall if you guys go back and watch some of our our old videos you'll kind of see that but you can go and pile it 20 foot tall and in six months it might be like four foot tall it uh it breaks down quite a bit which that's a good thing because it it is very nutritious to plants and you know stuff like that it's very good stuff grace i don't know what you're doing girl sharpening your claws grace and smee's been hunting a lot at night you gonna climb that tree let's see it you're a show off because you know i got the camera going let's see it girl oh there she goes all right look who came to see us look who's leaving Quack, quack. Where are you guys going? Hey, hey champ, let's do an interview real quick. Champ. All right, so champ is the great Cayuga duck that won grand champion at our local county fair and he still has his red leg band on. Oh, there he is, he's, he's second to the left right there. 
second to the left. I just seen the leg bend. They don't want to talk. They're going to the barn. Goats, you guys feel like talking? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Let's go see Stinky L, the uh, alpha buck over here. He has been working overtime. He's lost some weight. I've been feeding him, but he's running these girls pretty heavy right now. It's breeding time. Honey, what do you think? What's up? Hey, pretty girl. So, this one right here is starting to look more and more like jerk face. That's a doe that we had last year. And uh, she'll be having babies hopefully in December or January time frame. By this guy right here, that's L. That's, that's jerk face Jr.'s son. And his horns, man, look at his horns. He might turn out to be one of the prettiest bucks we've ever had on the farm. He is not quite two years old. But he's a he's a really pretty buck. And then of course we got our black Spanish. They should be bred as well. Pretty girls. All of them are pretty. You got this little late bloomer girl there. She's a little doling. She's really young. She was born back in May or June. And we already sold her brother. And then, of course, you guys remember Ginger. Everybody remembers Ginger from about... She'll be about two years old in uh, January or February as well. She's very beautiful. She's turned out to look like an awesome goat. She's chewing her bubble gum. Alright, guys. What do you guys think of the wood chipper? So... If you watched the last video, you seen where I had brought Rachel out, let her try it. She absolutely hated it. I think part of the limb or something got caught in her hair. And she's like, man, what do you do if that starts pulling you in? I'm like, well, it does have a safety. It's not really a safety, but it, you got to know what you're doing. But pretty much what you do is this right here is stop forward. And I don't think it has a neutral. It has forward and reverse pretty much. So if you're getting sucked in there, you can pretty much grab this and pull it one way or the other and it should stop. But when you're panicking, sometimes you don't know, or especially if you've never used this kind of equipment. But she said she'll she'll pull the, the uh, throttle for me as I feed it. So that'll work because it is kind of a two-man job. But just for uh, fun, let's see if this thing will fire up. It's been set in a few days now. Okay, that's awesome. I gotta figure out a cover to put over that motor. I think these are designed to be out in the elements and stuff, but I'd feel a lot better if I just was able to cover it up. So now we're gonna walk out here for in the video. We're gonna go check on Mr. Leesky. He is getting huge. Um, I gotta get him to the vet to get his next weight. See what he weighs. I don't even know what to guess. I know he is a monster, and I got a story I'm gonna share with you here in just a minute. Do not let me forget. What do you know, Mr. Leesky? What do you know, Mr. Leesky? Yeah. What are you doing, boy? Don't jump. Everybody wants to say hi to you. Everybody wants to say hi to you. You're a pretty dog. And here's the goats he's training with. This is the biggest goat we have. And that is a girl goat. But she is uh, not afraid to put Leesky in his place if he tries to mess with her. But she's been doing a wonderful job. Yeah, we got so I got it. He, he somehow he got his collar off and he chewed it up. So I had to order a new one on Amazon and I had to order a new dog tag and I haven't got it yet. But that's one thing I did not want him to go without because he's able to get out of this pen if he wants to. He could just walk right over the fence pretty much as big as he is. And if he ever got out, I would hope someone would return him. So we got to make sure to get that dog tag back on him. So back to the story I was wanting to tell you guys is. Let's see if he'll let me uh, get down here and talk about him. So I had a couple bags of corn the other day. And I went and fed one to the pigs. I didn't want to feed them both bags that day. It was a couple old bags of corn I had in the, in the shop. Well, anyways, I took one down there, fed it to them. Took the other one down there and I left it laying there on this side of the fence. Right by their feeder. 
The next day, I come outside, and look, and Mr. Leesky was dragging a 50-pound bag of corn. He dragged it over 100 yards from where it was. I'm like, Leesky, how in the world do you even do that? So anyways, uh, he ended up ripping it, and the goats got a bunch of treats that day. Look at him. He's not even standing all the way up. He's like halfway up, and he's almost as tall as me. But anyways, at least he got that bag of corn and he started dragging it up here. Yeah, he knows I'm talking about him. And then he accidentally ripped it and then the goats got it, which goats aren't supposed to eat a lot of corn. It can make them kind of have some scours and stuff, which ain't a big deal. It can do bad things to him, but luckily it didn't. Uh, at least he was just doing his exercises at the gym that day, I guess. Anyways, it's starting to sprinkle on me. I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update, show you the truck I bought. That will be the new work truck. Hopefully everything stays solid with it. Hopefully the dump bed off the beast will fit on this truck. And then we'll have a uh, real nice work truck, I think. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Leave us a comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and we'll see you next time.